Hi, this is Paul Gabriel with another episode of Ask ZBrush. All right, for this episode, the question is, how would I create a multi-alpha brush from a pack of existing alphas that I have? I do wanna show you a technique that this does work. And the brush that I have selected right now has multiple alphas selected up through here. So if I wanna start adding some more things to this cube, say I wanna now do this one, you can see the alpha is actually gonna swap. And when I drag out, I'm gonna get that alpha now. And if now I switch to this one, now we can add something like that. We can even do stuff alphas like this, where we can, let's go to another area down here at the bottom, start drawing that out. And you can see whatever I'm selecting here, I'm now getting the alpha here. So this is going to be a technique that you can use to assign multiple alphas to one brush. So how did I do this? Right, so it's really simple actually. I'm gonna open up Lightbox. Then I'm gonna go in the alpha section because we'll just grab some alphas from here. So let's grab one more from here. So I'm gonna double click on this folder and we've got some other alphas in here. Let's, let's grab this H1. So I'm just gonna double click twice so it adds it to the alpha palette. And then let's go up one more structure here. Let's now go into this NPR folder. We've got a couple different types of alphas in here as well. Let's take this paint one. Again, double click twice, and then that'll get loaded in the alpha palette. Now what I need to do is I now need to add this alpha and this H alpha, these two alphas, into this brush now the way you see these. So it's really simple to do this. All I need to do is select the alpha that I want, click this button right here, to mesh. And ZBrush is now gonna generate a piece of geometry that is representing the alpha. And now what I wanna do is add this to the brush. So all I need to do is go to the brush and there'll be the two things here as well, from mesh to mesh. So I'm gonna say from mesh, Okay, ZBrush is now looking at this mesh and adding it here. So here's my other alpha. So now let's switch our alpha to the H symbol. Then once again in the alpha, I'm gonna say to mesh so that I get that. And now in the brush palette, I say from the mesh. And now you can see I have my two new alphas here. So if we go back to now my little block that we were drawing on, we can test this out and see that now when I draw out, you can see I get the little H and the alpha is being swapped. And then here is the new one. And as I draw that out, you can see I am getting that alpha information here now. And this is a way that you could create one brush to have multiple alphas attached. Thank you for watching this video and please continue to send your questions in through Twitter with the hashtag AskZBrush. Again, please send your questions to us at Twitter and make sure you put hashtag AskZBrush. Thank you for watching and happy ZBrushing.